All right, we're ready to move on to the third card of our stamp club this month. This is our November technique, the faux watercolor technique. Isn't that pretty? So I decided to focus on the You've Got This stamp set with the main three colors of Crushed Curry, Calypso Coral, and Garden Green. Use what you have at home. If you don't have this stamp set, use a different stamp set that is an outline stamp. And um, use the ink pads that you have. So, this is the last card, and in here we have a bunch of stuff. We have Calypso Coral card base. This measures five and a half by four and a quarter when closed. A piece of crushed curry that measures four by five and a quarter. Our awesome wood grain designer series paper, and this measures three and three quarters by five. And you know what? The measurements are on the PDF because I know you guys aren't going to remember all these measurements. So the, mem the um, measurements are on the PDF tutorial. We have another piece of crushed curry, another piece of Calypso coral. We have our shimmery white cardstock. Now, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's so shimmery and so pretty. We have another piece of our wood grain designer series paper and another piece of our crushed curry. Holy, that's a lot of pieces, but it's a really fun card to make. So, first thing we want to do, we want to add our crushed curry to the card base using whatever adhesive you prefer to use. Okay, then we are going to take our... Um, our wood grain designer series paper. So this is double sided and some of um, some of the wood grain paper is different colors, different patterns. So some of you will have different colors and patterns on yours. So just use whichever side you want. So again, some snail. And that goes right on that in the center. Okay. So you see we can actually put a lot of this onto the card right away. That gets put down in the center. Even the Calypso Coral layer gets put down in the center. Just like that. Okay, so there's our card base. We're going to set that aside. Now we're ready to do some stamping. Okay, when you're using the full watercolor technique, it's recommended that you use our watercolor cardstock or a shimmery white cardstock. However, I wanted to show you on card number two that you could do the same thing using our Whisper White cardstock. This is the thick Whisper White cardstock because I want you to be able to do this technique on um, supplies that you already have at home. I do recommend trying it on the watercolor cardstock and the shimmery white. They hold the water a lot better than our regular Whisper White cardstocks do. But you see, if you don't use too much water, it dries beautifully. But you can use more water and um, do different things when you're using our cardstock that is kind of uh, formulated a bit more for water, if you will. Okay, I think we got that covered. We need to emboss this. So we are doing something a little bit different because along with the feature technique, I like to show you different ways of using products and I'm taking my embossing buddy and I'm just going all over that shimmery white using the same flower Oops. and the first mark. Make it up really, really good. Now watch this, you guys. This is so cool. I'm now going to take my basic black and I'm going to ink up my stamp. So the basic black is going on top of the Versa mark. And you may ask, well, why are you doing that? Well, that's because we don't have our black embossing powder anymore. Um, why, I don't know, but I wish we had it. But we don't, so we're using what we do have. So now I'm going to stamp this. Um, kind of flush with the top of the cardstock. Missed a little bit there. That's all right. And I don't know where my spoon is, so I'm just dumping this on. This is the clear embossing powder. So because we had the first mark underneath that black ink, the embossing powder is sticking. So how cool is that? 
Okay. Alrighty, this is embossed. Can you see it's shiny? So very, very nice. So we're doing the full the full watercolor on this card a little bit differently than the previous two cards. So um, as we did in the other cards, you can squeeze the lid of your ink pad to get a puddle of ink, and then you're just going to squeeze a little bit of water um, to get like a little pool of ink, right? Okay, well, what you can also do is, hang on, let me get it here. You can take our ink refills and add a couple drops to the lid of your um, ink pads. So that's what we're going to do for this one. Now, if you don't have, look, see, I already got some there, so I don't, I don't need the garden green. But I'm going to do a little bit with the crushed curry and um, the clips of coral. So if you don't have ink refills, that's fine. Just squeeze the uh, lid of your ink pad. When you do use your ink refills for this, you get um, a stronger uh, stronger color. And also, it's really good to have your ink refills so that you can re-ink your ink pads so they don't get dry. Alright, so uh, let me get a clean piece of paper towel. Alright, clean my aqua painter. Okay, so how this is different from the previous two cards, let me zoom in a bit, is we are going to add more water to this surface than we have with the last two cards. So I'm squeezing my aqua painter, staying within the lines of the flower, and um, I literally have little mountains, little puddles of water. And this is my favorite way to do this technique because this is pure magic, you guys. Pure magic. Wait until you see this. Okay, got little puddles of, uh, of water. I'm going into my crushed curry and I'm just going to drop. Just tapping it, see? And it flows right into that water. Can you see that? And it just kind of like flows along. There's not a lot of water on that one. So cool. Okay. Very good. Clean this off. Do the same thing using the uh, Calypso Coral. And I'm squeezing my Aqua Painter to get a bit of water into that drop of ink refill. And now I'm dropping it onto this. Okay. And it will just bleed right in and I'm squeezing a little bit to get a little bit more water as I go along because this is already dried a little bit I'm gonna add some more water on here okay and now I'm gonna pick up some more of that ink and just drop it down again and just let it kind of flow into the other colors oh my goodness beautiful okay so I'm gonna let that set and now I'm gonna go into my garden green so first I'm gonna ink up my leaves and my stem ink up I mean I'm gonna I moistened it with my aqua painter okay going into the garden green Now, when this is dry, we are actually going to cut it out. So don't worry too much if you go outside of the lines on this particular one. Just adding some darker shades of that garden green. Okay. So I'm gonna give it a light sap with heat tool just to dry it. I'm using it on the first setting, which is for drying ink. The second setting is for heat embossing. Okay, so that's dry. I'm going to, mo oh, there's green on there. Wait, I don't want that. Clean your brush, clean the brush. Okay, add some more water to the flower. 
squeezing it out because I want to go back in with that crushed curry just to get it a little bit brighter because as this dries those colors will dull a little bit so I'm gonna go back in with that crushed curry and I'm squeezing the water as I go and now I'm gonna go into my Calypso coral and again just kind of dabbing it on here and there and I'm just kind of going around the edges a bit just to make it a little bit darker and in the center Definitely one of the most relaxing techniques I can think of. Okay. There, I'm happy with that. Can you see how pretty that is? All that shimmery paper is coming through, and I really don't know that the camera is picking up on it, but it's just, it's really, really pretty. All right, so now it's time to cut it out. Okay, so there's my flower trimmed out. So grab the card base again. And then this is going to go right on top like that. And we are going to use dimensionals for this. Okay. So that's going to get positioned right in the center. Like that. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment on this piece of crushed curry. I'm going to use the I'm here for you with early espresso. Stamp it right there. Some snail. And then that gets dimensionals on the back as well. And I'm going to just line this up along the bottom of that um, Calypso Coral. Add a piece of computer paper to the inside. So isn't that fun? And honestly, you guys, the shimmer that's coming through this is just, it's super, super pretty. So let me show you the other two cards we made. This is the first one using the watercolor cardstock. And then the second one using the thick whisper white cardstock and embossed in gold. This one was embossed in white. And then this one was the first mark with the black embossed in clear. So three very different looks. Um, all using the same technique though. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this month's techniques. I hope you have fun trying it out and use your stamp sets that you have. The sky's the limit. Have fun, happy stamping, and thanks for watching. I appreciate you.